Hi guys, in today's video we'll be looking at my new water tower NFT and at the start of the video we'll be looking at a couple of the use cases for it in game and then we're going to be looking at how much money it's actually making me per day. Feel free to use the video chapters to skip to the part of the video that interests you the most. I'll be using my water tower NFT to provide as much passive water as I can to this wheat field. Notice how each individual wheat field requires free water to grow. To place my NFT, first I need to select this tile that I want to put it on. I'm going to select in the middle of my wheat field. I'm then going to come down to this blue circle here and click on it. You'll then see all my NFTs that I have. I currently have one water tower, one buggy Mr. Puddles, and two express depots, but I can't place these here because they have to be placed on the edge of the map. So I'm going to place my water tower down. And then immediately you will see that all of the wheat fields that are directly next to my water tower have got f their free water that they need straight away. You'll then see that like directly out from that square, these tiles here are then getting two water. And then the third tile out are getting one water. So for this NFT that provides free water, we're getting three, two, and then one water. It's worth noting that on the corner of this initial square, we're out on this corner here, we're only getting one water, whereas the ones next to it are getting two. Another way that we can utilize our water towers is to speed up the build time on our ponds. So I'm going to place a pond next to this well here. And the way that this is going to get built at the moment, you see that the pond is needing 10 water and it currently has zero. So what's going to happen is our builder is going to come from his building house at the bottom of the screen here. He's going to come up, he's going to take a bucket of water from the well and he's then going to drop it into the pond. See how he's taken the bucket of water from the well and he's dropped it into the pond. We now have one water in the pond. And this well is going to take about 40 seconds, uh, sorry 30 seconds refill and then the worker is going to come back grab another bucket and fill it fill it up again but if I'm to place my NFT water tower next to it the water tower providing free water passively you see how that one has jumped up to four I'm going to take this away I'm going to return it and then you see here how it's back down to one so by using the water tower it can massively speed up for the build time on your ponds. We've looked at a couple of ways that the water tower can help us in game, but how can it help us in real life? So you'll notice over here on the water tower, we've got an 11 and this red token underneath. This is how many town coins it earns us every day. In comparison, Mr. Puddles, you can see that he earns 10 town coin every day. But how much is a town coin? So I'm gonna head over to coinmarketcap.com and you'll see that it's the 11th of January, 2021 and today 53 cents per one town coin so our water tower is going to be 53 cents times 11 so that's about $5.50 $5.60 per day that it's going to earn us but if we go back in the past you'll see town coin has been as high as $2.20 I believe so $2.20 times 11 would have been $22 per day the price has come down a lot since then it seems to have made a good support around the 50 cents mark. So I'm hoping that over the next few months and years, the price of town coin is going to come back up and hopefully we'll see a dollar, two dollars or even more in the future. It's important for us to know how much it's going to cost us to increase our gala power. I'm going to head over to the gala games website here and they've got a section on calculating your gala power. I'll link this in the description below. So you'll see here, that for level one, you only need one point. For level two, you need 5,000. And what that is, is your gala power level two is gonna be 5,000 gala coins or 2,500 town coins because one town coin is worth two gala coins or a combination of both. So it could be 5,000 gala coins or, two, or 2,500 town or any combination that together combines to your 5,000 and then it's an extra 5,000 to get up every, each level. Today, 
Gala is at 30 cents per coin. So if I was to go to level two today, it cost me roughly 1500 US dollars. Okay guys, please like, subscribe, and drop a comment below for any ideas on a future video.